Ryan Nelson, University of Virginia, left guard, left tackle, 6'5", 325. What goals did you set and or accomplish in your final collegiate season? In my last collegiate season, I wanted to go out there and get some film for both left tackle and left guard. I wanted to be a great team player as well as a great player personally. I wanted to go out there and protect the quarterback, keep him clean, while also working uh, drastically in my running game. How do you think you took advantage of the extra year of eligibility to increase your chances of going pro? I took advantage of the extra year of eligibility by getting more film at left guard. I keep hearing that I'm going to play left guard next level because I'm a little bit too short for tackle. So I went out there and got like seven, eight starts at left guard and four at left tackle. So I got out there and did more film that was beneficial rather than just having left tackle film or a left guard film from two years ago. What would your coaches and teammates say about the type of player you are? They would say I'm a grinder or a water carrier. Uh, basically a grinder is someone who's gonna play through absolutely everything. If you watch my film, uh, I very rarely miss anything. I never miss a game for an injury or anything like that. And then a water carrier is I do all the little things that no one else does. I'm the guy who's gonna make sure everyone's staying together, staying up uh, energy-wise. I'm also gonna make sure everyone's staying on, ta on task with their film and in their study off the field as well. When you're studying film, what are the things you focus on to improve your game? When I study film, I look at the guy in front of me, I look at the defense as a whole, and I look at the scheme of what we're doing personally. Looking at the guy in front of me, I study feet, because physically, just going off physics, you can only make an inside move or an outside move off of a certain foot, so I count feet. I look at their hands, what they do, what their best moves are, and when they use them. I look at their effort after plays, and then I look at the defense as a whole as, where is the safety line, where's the corner aligned, how they do these, because every team has to tell when they're gonna blitz or when they're running base or zone or man, et cetera. And if you break it down, you can study that. And then from a left guard or left tackle spot, I can look at the lineback like, hey, he's pushed, he's doing this, that's, they're about to blitz right now, or they're in base, I'm gonna worry about this move right here or a twist. What separates you from the other pro prospects at your position? And what separates me is the fact that, like I said, I go over that, that film intently, but also, I'm a guy who you're never gonna have to worry about off the field. I do everything clean and keep it all, uh, my private life is very, to my family, it's very not worrisome. You don't have to worry about what I'm doing. And on the field, I'm a guy who's gonna go out there with violence in my heart and take it all on the field. And I'm never gonna have to worry about, oh, he left some of it in the locker room or not. It's everything that's on the field for me and I go out there with everything I got. What is the off-season plan to train and prepare for professional opportunities? My off-season plan is to continue to work on flexibility and mobility. Uh, flexibility because I can't tell you the amount of times as an offensive lineman you get rolled up on. Um, personally, I've always been flexible. I used to pitch when I was younger, so I kept the flexibility in my legs. So every time I get rolled up on, I can just jump up and get off and let's go. I'm ready to keep going. And then mobility. I want to be able to cut and move at 325 like someone who's 250 or 285. I want to be able to be agile and hostile with what I do and make sure I'm the best player I could possibly be. What kind of strengths and abilities will you bring to a team that will stand out both on and off the field? Uh, like I said, on the field, I'm going to put everything I got out there. You're never going to have to worry about an offensive lineman who doesn't know what he's doing or I can plug and play anywhere you want me to play. And then off the field, I'm a very good person to have at public events. I'm a great person at talking to the people. I do a lot of community work, give back to the community all the time. And you're not going to have to worry about me getting in trouble with the media or anything like that. What is your final pitch to the NFL and any other pro leagues? I can plug and play anywhere you want me to do. I can do literally everything on a field I did. I was a punt captain for three years at University of Virginia. And I, just, I always find a way to be on the field and I'm always up to do anything you need me to do.